My, my name is Elizabeth Eckworth. I was born on October 4th, 1941 in Little Rock, Arkansas. I grew up with five other brothers and sisters. My mom worked with the deaf and the blind at the segregated state school. My dad worked on dining cars. I was one of the nine kids who went to an all-white school. Even when people were protesting, we kept going. We moved closer and closer. Someone started to yell. I tried to look for a friendly face in the crowd, someone who we could help. I looked into a face of an old woman, and it seemed a kind face. But when, but when I looked again, she spat at me. I wanted to have many jobs. Some of my jobs were a waitress, a welfare worker, and a, and a military reporter. I also served in the Army for five years. Later, I was accepted into Knox College, only to move back to be closer to my parents. When home, I took classes at Wilberforce University, Ohio. Today, I, have a, I live in Little Rock, Arkansas, and have two sons. Now, on to another Little Rock legend, Minnie Jean Brown. Hi, my name is Minnie Jean Brown, one of the members of the Little Rock Nine. I was born September 11, 1941, in Little Rock, Arkansas. My parents' names are Imogen and Lily Brown. I have four siblings. I graduated from Horace Mann Junior High School in 1957. Then I attended Little Rock Central High School in 1957, which was one of the first desegregated schools in America. I was the only member of the Little Rock Nine who made it through the Central School year. Later on, I got expelled for speaking my mind. After high school, I moved to New York and got married. I had six kids, and I started working as a social activist, giving speeches around the country. Then I got a divorce in the 1980s. I also won the Congressional Gold Medal. Now on to our another me member of the Little Rock Nine, Melba Cotillo. Hi, my name is Melba Cotillo Beals. I was one of the Little Rock Nine legends. I was born on December 7, 1941, in Little Rock, Arkansas. My parents were very dedicated to my education. Their names were Lois Marie and Howell Patillo. I also had a brother named Conrad. My biggest accomplishment was going to Central High School. It was a segregated school, so people were very upset when it became an integrated school. They were so upset that they stabbed me, threw lit dynamite at me, and I got acid sprayed in my eyes by a student. I would have gone blind if it weren't for my soldier, who had rinsed out my eyes with water right away. Speaking of my soldier, he had said to me, that made a big impact on me. In order to get through this year, you have to become a soldier. Never let your enemy know what you are feeling. The thing that bothered me most is that pe people would call us horrible names, but when Minnie Jean Brown called them names back, she got expelled. After going to 